My name is Vincent Batts, and here, uh, thanks Nico for giving a talk on um, how to hijack a Kubernetes cluster. I have to say that was uh, terrifying and delightful at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, yeah. Mainly the attempt for this talk was really to get some best practices um, to get started with um, container security, Kubernetes security, uh, to make yeah. the people aware of it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think uh, obviously, you know, with anything like this, you framed and had your hand in a lot of the pieces of it. So you could at least show like, you know, super top secret DB string here. But nonetheless, it's still terrifying. Like as I'm watching this, I'm like, Oh no, no, please don't. Oh man, he's, oh, gosh, he's right there. Um, and I feel like a lot of these things people have been saying for a long time, like don't have root on the machine, don't have host path, you know, make things read only, trim them down, uh, like don't have shells or netcat or whatever it is on the container, but still it's out there, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, it's, it's easy thing. So you just need to follow the best practices and stuff, but many times the customer sites and the customer um, projects and so I'm seeing that yeah the people are using Kubernetes they are deploying their applications but that not really thinking about um, the security part and not yeah. basically so I'm not talking about it wasn't some kind of rocket science or really just basic stuff and if you're doing the basic stuff you're everything should be good at least if you don't have any big things open um, everything should be good and you are at least a little bit more secure um, yeah. yeah. So as really... we push, as we push all the, the different things, like uh, I liked where you were going, and because uh, there's been a lot of attention on that, especially in the last year or so, of like tools like Falco or Pixie or Inspector Gadget of like, what's it running? Should this container ever run Bin Bash? Probably not. Then like, you know, sound sound a bell somewhere that that was hit. Yeah. Should this pod ever talk to the, you know, the API server? Probably not. Sound a bell if it opens a TCP socket out there. Um, yeah. These kind of tools are in our grasp now. That's great. Uh, yeah, so, as it, I guess one thing that you know, even even for anybody who's been in the space or is starting in the space, and you, you know, like you see where you're just like, yeah, here I'll you know copy and paste some YAML and start a you know a privileged pod just to do the things. But knowing that that some of these YAML pieces mean something very particular, or there's a field that you're missing of like disable. You know, whatever it is, host path or, you know, is there like a resource that you found is besides just digging through the Kubernetes docs to say like, this is some, some particular fields that you should be aware of or like kind of a how to of like things you should be aware of that you're not seeing just in the YAML you're copy and pasting. Yeah, so so basically, I think there are many um, many best practices out there, and mainly I think related to the security topics and things you should do in a, in the YAML and your manifest or not. I think um, really good starting point is to to review the docs and the samples from, for example, Open Policy Agent Gatekeeper Project or K1 yeah. or so. So they have best practice policies, um, detailed information where we will see. Okay, these are the things I might should not do or should somehow restrict because of some kind of, of issue. So I think those are really, really nice starting point to, to get yeah. some more details or to get started with those topics. Super. Well, thank you again for giving the talk and, um, uh, and answering any questions. Uh, it was great, great, great and horrifying, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for asking me. Thanks to Microsoft Azure and Equinix Metal for supporting us at the champion level. We also want to thank Red Hat and Slim.ai for funding us at our supporter level.